This is CBS 11 News Now. Good morning, it's News Now, our digital news update. I'm Karen Borda. Agnes crews are still working to fix gas leaks in a northwest Dallas neighborhood. Two more evacuations have been ordered in the past 24 hours after new leaks were discovered. Here's Brittany Jeffers. All around this vicinity here, you can see the Atmos crews working to restore that two and a half mile of natural gas pipeline. There have been even more evacuations this morning along Roman. Also, a fire station, fire station 43, was evacuated last night as well. All right, a lot of overhead air traffic, that's for sure. New this morning, Dick's Sporting Goods is going to stop selling assault-style weapons in the wake of the Florida school shooting. The nation's largest outdoor gear retailer also says it's going to stop selling high-capacity magazines or to sell to anyone under 21, regardless of local laws. The accused shooter did buy a gun at Dick's, but not the AR-15 that was used in the school shooting. Well, we do have another chance of storms this afternoon, right? We do, yeah. Another round of rain to get through. Had some yesterday yeah. after such a pretty start to the week. Yeah. So we will get back to that tomorrow. So the sunshine coming back. Not today, though. Heavy clouds, and we're starting to see widespread showers. Some isolated storms are in the mix. But the main activity, as far as stronger storms, is going to wait until the second half of the day. So our latest radar, uh, you can see all of that rain activity is moving right along the I-35 corridor. Heaviest rain has made an exit from Stephenville, uh, Granbury, up towards Tarrant County in the next half hour. Heads up for you some heavier rain out of that. Now, again, mentioning the second half of the day, reason for that, really the energy with this system ahead of a cold front arrives closer to the evening. So our main time, about 5 to 11 p.m. Uh, and the main mode of severe weather that we're talking, Karen, damaging wind gusts, but really we could see all forms of severe weather. Oh. And unfortunately, this was a change from our uh, early morning updates. The slight risk has been, as you saw, expanded, expanded a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's March, right? Tomorrow's yes, March 1st. Tomorrow's it is that March. time of year. This is the kind of thing that we're going to have to start thinking about all the time. Exactly. Just the beginning. So uh, okay. yeah, stay tuned with us. I know that Scott and right. Jeff Ray will have you covered as we move on through the day. Annalise, thank you. Well, a police chase in Los Angeles ends in a violent crash and a near miss for a news photographer. Watch this. It's all caught on camera. Coming up on La Brea. Whoa! 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 Look at that. Police say the suspect stole the Honda CRV and took off. Three minutes later, he crashed into a car, spun out, and missing by just inches. A photographer right there was trying to record the action. That loud bang. Um, it's, it's something I've never heard. I've covered, uh, I've covered many, many pursuits. I've never seen anything like this. After the crash, you're not going to believe this, suspect got out, just calmly walked away, thinking, yeah, nobody will know it was me. Eventually, he gave up and surrendered. The photographer says debris did hit his leg, but he's feeling okay and says he knows he is just lucky to be alive. My goodness, talk about being wow. quick on your feet. And let's just I watch mean, this. He this just is, barely missed it. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know, it, there's no word right now how the person in that other car was doing that he, yeah. that he uh, when he blew through that. Uh, there you go. They were completely goodness. stopped. Yeah, don't you know, there were definitely injuries there, too. That, wow. That's really bad. Uh, well, we do want to thank you for watching CBS 11, the ones for Texas. For the latest updates, please head to CBSDFW.com, and we are going to have another Facebook Live News Now update coming up at noon. Have a great day.